About a week or two ago, The Rock posted to his Instagram with his Terramana Reposado Tequila, a recipe that looked pretty incredible. It was apple pie margarita, or he calls it monarita. We tried it and um, we made a few adjustments. We arrived at the most amazing kind of upstate New York themed drink uh, based on The Rock's inspiration of his recipe. If you're new to me, I do lots of recipes just like this, dining reviews and other fun stuff. So for more of that, hit subscribe down below, hit the bell, get notified when the new videos are posted. For The Rock's recipe, he basically uses his Terramana Reposado tequila. And instead of triple sec, he substitutes apple juice. In upstate New York, it's apple cider season, so we're, we use that. We originally tried it with his agave as the sweetener, but on our second pass, we actually thought, you know what, we're so close to Vermont, maple syrup is in season as well. We're gonna make this kind of in the style of the rock, but we're gonna make two substitutions. Instead of apple juice, we're gonna use apple cider. Instead of agave, we're gonna use maple syrup. And for the proportions, it's gonna be three parts terramana to a little bit like a teaspoon of the maple syrup two parts of apple cider, and about a half part of lime. To make the cinnamon sugar, it was about one tablespoon of coconut sugar, or you could use brown sugar or white sugar, and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, the nicest cinnamon you could find. To rim your glass before you use your lime, just take it and run it along the outside of your glass. It makes it nice and juicy, and then you can go right into your cinnamon sugar with that. Just like that. We have our lime, juice that right into your shaker. And we're actually gonna be a lot more precise than he was here with the exception of juicing the lime. And he was just pouring free, free form. I'm not that experienced. We're gonna add our maple syrup. Like I said, about a half to a teaspoon in each drink. I'm making two drinks here. That's why I just juiced an entire lime even though I told you to do half. We're gonna go in with our apple cider, four parts. I know I'm confusing you. I'll put it up on the screen. I said four parts, it's two parts per drink. I'm making two drinks. And now three parts of the tequila. I keep saying parts, three ounces of tequila per drink. Now we're gonna get everything iced out. I'm gonna start with some ice in my glasses. Just a few cubes. I want a nice cold drink, you know? And then ice in a shaker. While I'm here, I'm actually gonna put my apples right on the glasses. And I like to lay them in like that, kind of off center a little bit, just like that. And now we shake. And then just pour. Time to taste our apple pie or apple cider manaritas. I don't know why he wouldn't call it apple pie given that it was part of his gimmick for such a while. All right, time to taste it. Perfect. So good. Our initial reaction to his recipe was that it tasted good. It just tasted like you barely tasted the apple and the agave kind of threw it off a little bit. So the maple is a perfect addition to this. And the cinnamon sugar rim, you gotta go full rim on this drink. It, it gives you that warmth of like the fall. That, that was Cassie's feedback is that that initial drink just didn't have the warmth that you'd expect from this kind of drink. So this, this does, make one for yourself. And if you like this recipe, I have a, a perfect recipe for a margarita and I'll put that right here. And I have a playlist with all my cocktail recipes and you can watch that right here.